Good morning, Raiders. My name is Ayana, and welcome back to another episode of the Weekly Wrap. These past few weeks have been extremely rough for students all across America. With the increase of gun violence all throughout the nation, students everywhere fear for their lives as they walk into classrooms. In the past four months of 2023 in Colorado alone, more than 990 deaths have occurred due to firearm fatalities, according to the CDC. Families and friends of the victims continue to mourn the loss of their loved ones all throughout the community as well. In order to make a movement about the continuing incidents, a walkout was arranged on Wednesday afternoon during school time. Many students took a stand on the increased gun violence and walked out to the turf on the football field, but eventually things did take a turn for the worst. After students used this as an opportunity to skip class, many became disruptive and eventually the protest was cut short and everybody went back to class. This topic, however, is a very serious matter and has been going on for far too long, so please take the time to take a stance against it and be safe. In sports news, Rangeview hit an all-time high, quite literally, with a record-breaking jump from one of our seniors, Kevin Frazier. This past week at Aurora City Championships, Frazier broke the 28-year-old record, jumping at an all-time high of 6 feet 7 inches. The last time something like this occurred at Rangeview was in 1995, so this is an amazing accomplishment for him. Frazier has been considered one of the best jumpers in the state this year and has also been nominated for multiple awards, such as the Colorado Miles Split Performance of the Week. Here is what his coach has to say about all of his successes so far. I'm here with... This is Coach Whitmer. So what do you have to say on Kevin's breaking the record and his successes throughout the year? Oh, it's been a super exciting year for Kevin and for the track team in general. So uh, this weekend we had the Aurora City Championships meet that we do every year. We compete against all the other big Aurora programs and uh, Kevin came in and, and he's been having a good year high jumping so far um, and uh, yeah, he had a great day. Uh, got over uh, 6.5 and then was jumping at 6.7 which was an inch over the, the record and just cleared it like no problem, was jumping at 6.9, and that's, those are big jumps. Those are like some of the best jumps in Colorado this year. Now we have a segment from Abby. Take it away. Hey guys, it's Abby, and this week we're going to be seeing how much people have changed since they were in middle school. You think you've changed a lot since middle school? Yes. Yes. Did you change for the better or for the worse? Both. Better? <laughs> uh, do you guys think you've changed a lot since middle school? Yeah, definitely. Do you think you've changed for the better or for the worse? Both. Definitely for the better. <laughs> Do you guys think you've changed a lot since middle school? Sorry. Yeah, a lot. Definitely. Do you think you changed for the better or for the worse? Um, for the better, definitely. I think looks for the better, but like personality for the worst. Do you think you look different now compared to you in middle school? Very, very, very different. Do you think you've changed for the better or the worse? Probably better. Probably better. I hope. I hope it's better. Do you guys think you've changed a lot since middle school? Yes. Yeah. Of course. Have you changed for the better or for the worse? Better. Definitely better. Way better. In entertainment news, the trailer for the new official Barbie movie has been released this past week. With an amazing lineup of cast, including celebrities such as Margot Robbie, Ryan Gosling, and Simu Liu, People are so eager to line up and rewatch their favorite childhood pastime show come to real life. The film is expected to be one of the most popular movies of the year, and its release date is July 23rd, 2023. Now we are going to have another segment of Isaiah and Friends. On to you. A lot of people, they're trying to put the hit on me. Oh, I'm here with, um... Ty. And Saran. Who was your favorite Mr. RHS act? Yours. It yeah. was so cute. You too. It was nice. But who really? Like, who are you? It was yours. I liked the performance. I liked the representation. I feel like we need more of that. And I loved how you were able to incorporate that. Yeah, I would say yours and Abuni because I thought that was cute too. Um, how do you feel about the Mr. RHS result? I love everyone who, um, um, no, I don't love everyone who won. I personally believe that one person should have won and he didn't. I lucky thought Candy Rain was gonna win against me. For all the people saying I don't deserve second place, I was just nervous because I was first. How do you feel about being Mr. RHS? Um, I feel very overwhelmed, very uh, proud of me and my dance partner, Kaden Graham. I could not have done it without him. Do you think you could demonstrate just one move for us? Y arriba yo. 
Thank you so much for watching, Raiders. Make sure to check out our website, The Raider Review, for more exclusive stories and content. My name is Ayana, your host for this episode, and have a Raider Fig weekend. Bye! I was a little bit taller, I wish I was a baller, I wish I had a girl who looked good, I would call her, wish I had a rabbit in a hat.